So now let's uh, move on to the next exercise. Next exercise is all about uh, maintaining a payroll information with InfoType mashups, right? So now uh, we will be going to see uh, in this exercise uh, for a particular employee, we will be adding another details called as a garnishment for US employee. And we will be using it through a mass of screens. Okay. So for mass uh, if you do not know, basically for this garnishment order and US payroll, we do have a specific info type known as a 9195. Okay. So we will be going to this exercise. We will be updating this uh, info type. Okay. And we will be seeing how does it update and all. Right. So for this exercise, the payroll administrator has to insert the garnishment order in info type 195. Okay. Then again, after that, we will be checking the few things in 194 as well. And uh, let's see how does it work directly going to the exercise. And uh, let's see, we will be going to the employee, Mark Brown, as usual. And uh, we will try to maintain the action search and uh, from an employee profile a specific things we will be doing it okay and later on we will be coming to the info types and all right so now let's uh, go to the employee so already we are in employee but we will be starting from beginning in this exercise let's see go back to home page i will go to the my employee mark brown 11 This is my employee. So what I need to do, I will go to the people profile. And what they're expecting us to do is, huh, on the payroll and time management tab. Okay, so on the payroll and time management, you can see there are two things. One is the payment information, another is the payroll and time management. So I will go to the payroll and time management tab and inside that okay so we have seen these three things four things earlier residence tax area work tax area in other way around right so if you want to verify you can verify it okay from here what are the data we have maintained earlier 207 208 209 all those information right it is already maintained right which we have done it by um, the admin right so now what I will be going to do is there, yeah, I'm going to update the other area of sections. So you can see the garnishment was, uh, this is garnishment document, garnishment order, garnishment adjustment. So these are the different info types again, but we will be focusing on today, this one. Uh, create a new record on terrorists, it's display on information and uh, create a new record on info type 194 garnishment document. Okay, so remember, the info type 194 is for garnishment document. Okay, so I will go to that garnishment document here and I will try to update this as per the guideline, as the data it is required. So what are the data we have to see to create a new garnishment and we will be creating a new record and this is my uh, details. Okay, so I will be adding these details. So let's say create new and the uh, valid from is which date we have to enter from january okay so 0101 the current year whatever current year you are in then garnishment case number i will be entering the data here again so 7621983 in your client system you can have your own data but here we will be following strictly the data what we have Okay, so this is the de details and what else? And the vendor details also have to enter 200018. So vendor details, you can see the right hand side. So garnishment has its vendor. There are different, different uh, third parties and all. Okay, so we have to enter those details here. So I will be entering the details here. Let's say Uh, instead of that, I will be directly entering the data 200018 to 000. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the Garnim spend details, uh, New Jersey based vendor. And what else I need to fill up? So let's scroll down a bit. So the other details, we will simply follow this. Uh, 114 also and so. Then priority 100. Then what else? Judiction. So judiction will be your respective. This is New Jersey based. You can see that here. So it will be New Jersey. Otherwise, you can type here. Uh, New Jersey. Oklahoma, New Jersey, Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey. And what is the category of this document? This document is a support category. Okay. So I will be using support category then we do have uh, remittance rule is the immediate okay where is the remittance rule yeah this is the remittance rule okay it should be immediate remittance then yeah so then what you need to do emily has to insert garnishment order in for type 195 okay so this is 194 by the way okay so now what i will do i will simply save it okay so after doing this, okay, save your entries and confirm the warning message. Okay, so let me try to save it. Oh, well, there is no warning message, that's well and good. But uh, this is the way, okay? This is the step we're maintaining in from success factor. Now going back to the mark that employee, once again, we will go to the payroll time management. So the next, uh, idea is next is the to emily has to insert garnish in order then uh, so first we have updated the garnishment document okay so that is your info type 194 now we will be maintaining the 195 which is a garnishment order okay so this is the garnishment order we are going to fill up as usual so let me see what are the details are there and in this exercise uh, again very simple we will be using the same data 1st of January with effective from 1st of January. Anyone has worked in US payroll, by the way, before? Any of you? Yes, yes, a little bit. Okay, okay. Then it is a quick recap for you. <laughs> so, so now the insert garnishment number. So I will be using 0001. Then garnishment order type, uh, what we have. A rule for uh, calculating non-exempt amount, remove the default value. Is there any rule? Uh, rule for, where is that? Okay, there is nothing like that. I don't see that. Okay, so now the next one is garnishment order type. We will be using alimony. Order type is alimony. This one. Then uh, what is next? Uh, rule for calculating non-exempt amount. This is not there. It is blank. Uh, deduction is uh, I have to use an amount of 150. Let's say. Because without having in this data, we while processing, you will be getting an error. So we are following exactly what they are saying. Insert amount 150 with a frequency, pay period amount. Pay period with frequencies. Pay period amount, this one. Okay, there can be monthly, there can be weekly, but here in this scenario, based on the pay period, it will check. Okay, so I think uh, this much. Choose the back button to return to list of the employee profile of Mark Brown and then to the EC homepage. This concludes the exercise. So this is actually just uh, the way people who do not know how to maintain this data. Okay, a very simple exercise. This is nothing uh, to not no actions needed for the this is the data maintenance activity. Okay, so similarly, if, this is purely an admin activity as a payroll administrator. Uh, you are not given access to a non-premise backend of it. 
so this is the way suppose at an individual level a person has to maintain such an info types and all you have to go to the payroll and time management sections so just like in this lessons in this exercise we have updated the two info types 194 that is a garnishment document 195 that's a garnishment order and uh, similarly we can have also other things we can do definitely other info type your info type 14 15 lot of things are there okay but we are not doing this in this exercise but you can explore this okay if you want you can explore this one as well okay so this completes the exercise number 3 very simple exercise because there is a no brainer in this exercise just a data maintenance okay so how to maintain the payroll information with info type mashups so why we are this calling a mashups because we are doing it from a front end not in the back end of the ec payroll okay so that is where you are seeing the mashup screens and uh, that is where we now successfully updated everything there right so with that note we will uh, now we will move to the next exercise this exercise is done so let's uh, yeah go to the next one so in the next video we will be looking at uh, the exercise number 4 right which is actually uh, if you go through it we will see uh, basically in the next unit we will start with the very interesting actual payroll control center activities is coming up okay so we have lined up for three more exercises still in the unit number 3 and for lesson number 2 if you talk about this is a series of exercises we will be doing continuously so now the data prep part is done so now we will go into actual uh, payroll control center topic okay so let's uh, move on